Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about five ways for you to know how to know it's not a twin flame. I think more and more as people keep disentangling from each other, and one of those telltale signs is the loneliness epidemic. People can feel that they've detached from things. They can feel lonely. So this is about how to tell it's not a twin flame, okay? There's lots of ways to tell, but we're gonna start with five here. They disappear, never to be found again. You try to frequent the same places, you try to look for them, you try to be a sleuth or a detective and you wanna put on your detective hat and discover them and find them out. And a lot of times the only way is through social media and that's not the best way because what happens with that, it pings right back to you. You feel like someone is surveilling you. You feel like someone is being a detective and checking you out. And frequently, people can mismatch that in their head and think, oh, well, I'm looking at them, they're looking at me too. No, you're just getting the ping back. You're getting, you are in the closed system of the ego mind where it just boomerangs right back to you. So that is one of the telltale signs. Another one, they are not seeking an intimate, fully committed relationship. Okay. So whether it's friends with benefits or it's not even friends and they cannot commit to you. And even if they want sex, they do not want to be intimate and I was really kind of shocked one time. I have a little personal story about my friend and he was a gay guy. And when he actually died, he died in his sleep and we started contacting people. We contacted his uh, friends with benefits guy. We contacted one of his, what they call an F buddy in the community, in the gay community. The guy he had no feelings whatsoever. He was like, oh, wow. Yeah, I think he was kind of a nice guy. He was totally disinterested. And we were a little bit shocked about this. It also told us a little bit about our friend that sometimes people are just seeking some relief and they don't care. When you're a real twin flame, when you are a real activated person, whether you're an ascending person or you feel like you're here for a divine counterpart or a twin flame, those things don't feel right to you. Somebody not committing to you doesn't feel right. It doesn't feed your heart. It doesn't feed your spirit. And your soul is like, we're out. We don't even want that person. So your heart is going this way and your head is going this way. You cannot have it both ways when once you've had your activation. Okay. Intimacy means more than sex. Intimacy Intimacy means sharing things. It means knowing each other's feelings. It means intuiting things. It means having those flashes of insight. It means it does mean buying the cards and the flowers and the gifts. It does mean quality time. It does mean physical touch. So if they are not seeking a an intimate, fully committed relationship, walk on by. That's all I can say. Just walk on by, okay? Just like the song, just keep on walking and say, no, thank you. They don't even have to talk to your hand. You just wish them well and you say, please let them find who they need to find. I'm here for much better than this. And do it, okay? Don't be wishy-washy about it. Do not send mixed signals because you'll spin around in that little soulmate cesspool of, you know, crappy things that pass for relationships. Hell no. The next thing, and this is a real red flag in any kind of relationship, they don't want to know anything about you. It doesn't even come up on their radar. You are not a blip on their radar. You're like less than probably the little animals that they notice. You're less than the road signs that they see driving around. You are not a blip on their radar. They don't want to know about your life. 
your interests, your family, what you like to eat. They don't know what your skill sets are. They don't know what you do for a living. They don't care about your financial health and well-being. They don't care about your emotional health and well-being. They don't care about your mental health. Nada. Zip. Nada. They don't want to know anything about you. Okay? Even if you try to tell them, even if you sit there and you're willing them, please ask me about myself. Ask me this or that. I want you to know me too. That doesn't create the intimacy. With real people who have had a real activation, it happens from the inside out. It happens with that surge of feeling. It happens with that impetus of like, same, same. You want to know each other. You are feeling things, okay? Doesn't matter what your mind makes up with wishful thinking because our minds, I mean, I've seen it happen with teenagers at the mall. Oh my God. They're so cute and they see white picket fences and the big wedding and all the other stuff. And all that person did was maybe glance in their direction. Okay. That's a part of the maturing process. And I found the best quote. You have to be like a ripe fruit that falls off the tree. I'm paraphrasing here. You have to be like a ripe fruit that falls off the tree and thanks the tree, its mother, for not only giving them the life, but putting them in the sun to be able to mature and grow and fully develop, okay? That's what you're doing on this journey. That's what the activation is. The little seeds inside you are sparking that growth. And even if it's growing in the dark inside you, it's still growth in the dark, the way, you know, flowers come up, okay? We're heading into a season change as I'm doing this video. So you're going to feel a lot of pushes and nudges to get change in your life. So they don't want to know anything about you. Now, what if you do have the type of interaction where you do talk? They trauma dump, but then they don't care how you feel. They don't care what they're doing to you. They don't care how they've disrupted your life. They don't really extend themselves. They don't offer the same courtesy. They think you have a problem. And this goes beyond narcissism, okay? A lot of people get real indignant and they're like, oh, well, they're narcissists. And some people take that further and they're like, well, if they are a narcissist, then they must be my twin flame. After all, everyone's twin flame is a narcissist, right? After all everyone's twin flame should make them a better person. No, your higher self makes you a better person. The outside world is a reflection, a mirror of yourself. We've separated into these separate bodies so that we can really gain knowledge of ourselves so that we know who we are. And sometimes we've got lost. We compromise a lot in relationships. We've lost ourselves. We give up, we roll over and play dead. We're afraid, we're afraid of other people's angry reactions. And that stymies a lot of people. That puts people into the mode where they are just frozen in time. So are they trauma dumping on you? Okay, let's give you an example. It's a married person and they're telling you all about their terrible spouse, okay? Never minding that they're telling you and not their spouse or they're telling you and not telling a counselor. They're not seeking real help. They're not doing their work. They are not paying attention to themselves and what they really should be doing instead of trauma dumping on you. Telling you about their relationship. And every time it happens, you might be thinking, this is a time. This is a time where they break away. But no, all they did was they dumped off their garbage onto you and there you are feeling like crap, full of garbage, full of their emotional garbage and their mental trash and the stuff that's in the relationship. It doesn't matter if he or she doesn't love the person that they're in a relationship with. Feel yourself, be yourself, stop doing and start being a human being. Be. When you are being, you're using your light body as the real being you are. 
And that's what doing the work is about. It's about being able to put that love into structure so that it deflects this stuff or that you begin to see it for what it really is because otherwise you get lost in all the junk that's you know out there there's a lot of misinformation but my work is intended to help you to feel heal and discern next thing they are disinterested they're not interested in doing anything or introducing you to people or things in their life. They don't want to have sex with you. They don't want to introduce you to their parents, their circle of friends. They arrange to meet you, you know, separately. They go out and do things that you're not included in. And this is, happens sometimes even when you are having a relationship or you think you're having a relationship. Okay. They ask you if they can see other people. They, okay. There's another thing too. They want to go off and do their own things. They go partake in things that, you know, are addictions again. You're not going to heal them from their addiction. The only people that can truly heal each other are the true twin flames. You can't even do it for a divine counterpart. You could live with someone. Are you intending to be a fully committed relationship person who is in love and in passion and gets the cards and flowers? Or are you just an enabler? You have to ask yourself that. Are they disinterested in letting you partake, participate, see, meet any of the people, places, things in their life? And you have to ask yourself, do you even want to? Okay. Do you even want to know? Because if you think that the journey is just really about, well, we're just going to go off the grid and, you know, that's really not what happens because there is a really wonderful thing that happens. You want to re-engage with the world. You want to see what the world has to offer. You begin to feel like the world is your oyster. That's what I call it, where, you know, things are more open. You really are being the being that you are. So the main thing that you have to do to be able to tell is learn how to develop your light body. Okay, there is a brand new structure with brand new chakras, marma points, and alchemy points. We're holding a webinar. The links are below or see us for a one-on-one -on -one session, coaching, books, pre-recorded webinars. Do you feel like a lot of this stuff is getting to you and you're just not really sure why? Try my Empaths and Healers recorded webinar. We had a lot of success with that. In fact, we have success because we focus on the light body. We're not giving you dialogue to go talk to somebody that, you know, might not be the one or might not even be someone that you even want to associate with. A lot of people have really good intentions, but you have even bigger hearts. And when you have a big heart, you're willing to do things. Let's flip that around and do it for you. You do it for you. That's how you are the influencer from the inside out and the outside in with your true and real other activated person. Okay, and you'll find out. Because when everything that you're doing doesn't work on the person you're latched onto, that's almost like the sixth sign. So I hope this helps you. Please reach out for the professional help that we're here for because traditional psychotherapy will not know this stuff. They will not know about two energies. They will not know how to use the light body because they don't teach that there. I'm teaching it. And I have a practitioner course if you're interested to really learn it because this is new and yet it's been around for years, but it is new and it is building momentum. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.